guys, how is it going? And welcome back to the adventure. And today, Champions League nights are back. And it's City versus Dortmund at the Etihad. It's the return of the Champions League nights at the Etihad with City taking on Borussia Dortmund under the lights in East Manchester tonight. Erling Haaland is playing against his former employers, Borussia Dortmund, in the blue of Manchester City. And I cannot wait to see this. Haaland scored 62 goals in just 67 games for Borussia Dortmund. And we snapped him up in this summer. And what an incredible signing it's been. He's already scored 10 goals in six games for us. This guy is just unbelievable. And before we get going, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. We are so close to 10K. Every sub means a lot. And without further ado, it is time to get to the Etihad Stadium to see Haaland return against Dortmund. Let's go. Okay, so we've made it into the Etihad for today's game. City versus Dortmund. Very, very excited for this one. I've never actually seen Dortmund play, and I was telling Niels on the way, they play in black and yellow. Would you like, would you like the colour scheme on that? I've never seen Dortmund play. We played them four times. We've won two, which were the two uh, games that we played two years ago, and drew one, which was here. The first time we played in one all, and then lost at the Signal Junior Park. So very excited to see Bellingham, to see Royce for the first ever time in person. So yeah, very excited, right? It's time to get down to our seats for City Dortmund. Alright, we'll just have a little talk about both of the two teams before we kick off. Obviously, Dortmund's most impressive recent one in the European Cup was in 2013. Obviously, smacking Real Madrid 4-1 at the Signal Regina Park. I think Lewandowski scored all four. It was an um that was the night that he was made his talent just known to the world. He was incredible. Uh, unfortunately, Borussia Dortmund lost the final at Wembley to Bayern Munich by two goals to one. And funny enough, their scorer for the final is actually playing for us tonight. Ilkay Gundogan, the club captain now of City, scored scored their goal in a 2-1 defeat at Wembley, scored from the penalty spot in front of that East End, in front of the Dortmund faithful. Obviously, we've got to the final two years ago, and last year we were beaten by Real Madrid, the eventual winners in the semi-final. I think today's going to be a brilliant clash, but the problem is there's loads of school kids sat everywhere. So, yeah, we're in for fun tonight. Come on, City. Let's do it. The Dortmund massive already making noise. Okay, the teams are out. Obviously, the black on the screen behind me represents. There is going to be a minute silence for Her Majesty the Queen. I'm going to be quiet and not record and uh, respect Her Majesty and uh, enjoy the minute silence. Here we go then. City versus Dortmund. Come on, City. Let's go. Oh, there they go. They're jumping up and down. We do it the other way with a positive. Class of course, to be fair. I can't wait to see the yellow wall when I go. Alright, we're 15 minutes in, it's a game of very, very few chances. Mahrez has had a cross that was caught by the Borussia Dortmund goalkeeper. Bellingham and Royce have looked positive on the right, but other than that, it's quite dull, 0-0. Dortmund, it's It's a good effort. First time for the game. Uh, on Wolfsburg, a rival of Dortmund's because the Dortmund fans really don't like Kevin, do they? They really don't like him. Sally's so made a mistake. Oh, there was three of them there. And Rodri managed to get it. That's a chance for Dortmund, that. Well, that was one of the very few chances that Dortmund had. Mooney broke from Cancelo missing the ball. He pulled it back. There was four of them there. Couldn't get it to any of them. And another shot back from Breeland. It's about four of those. Okay, so half time at the Etihad Stadium. It's been a really, really dull half, hasn't it? Nothing really going on. Dortmund had the best chance of the game, a curling effort that was comfortably caught from Edison. Uh, but other than that, nothing really much to shout about. I don't think we've even had the shot on target. Haaland's been quiet, De Bruyne's been getting booed. Pretty dead game, let's move into the second half. Oh. Come on, that's better. Let's keep it going. Chances for Dortmund. Oh, it's brilliant from Royce. Oh, and he's missed it. How the hell has he missed that? Well, here's a little stat for you. Marco Royce has scored every time he's played in the stadium. He's been here twice and he scored twice, both in the Champions League. Both finesses from a brilliant through ball pump through. And he probably should have added a third. How's that gone wide? Dortmund has scored. My kid just ruined my shot, but... Jude Bellingham turning it in. A ball that came flying back in. And they've deserved it, Dortmund. 
Well, my shot got ruined and my nine's getting ruined. Drew Bellingham turned it in. It was a ball that came fizzed back in. I'm not sure who it was by. I think it was by Rayner. Come flying back in at 100 miles an hour. Bellingham just knocked it towards goal with his head. And it goes. And he had a goal wrongfully disallowed in the last game. He's got his revenge today. And we, we don't deserve to be winning. And they, they, they have been dangerous. But I was saying to you, as a minute ago, I was like, Harland for this team, they play the way that Harland likes. Balls going through the top, balls coming into the box. That's why he probably scored loads and loads of goals. And they've got one tonight. We haven't looked at it. And Dortmund have capitalised. Well, finally, some changes have happened as well. And it's so poor on top. Firstly, I'm going to take a green and Jan Maher is on. Uh, yeah, he has. He's taken both of them on, as well as Gundogan. Foden on the left, Alvarez on the right, Harland up top. And uh, Bernardo Silva's coming in the midfield. That's much better. Now we need two goals. What is it with Champions League nights and people just absolutely going mad on the seg line? So at least this time the police have covered the full of the seg line and are not standing at the top like the Spurs ones. But it's getting a bit heated over there. And the other side's having a bit of fun as well. These police have got it under control. There's a lot of stuff being thrown over though from both sets of fans. I mean, I can't comment on this one. At least there's police there this time. Well, Dortmund really frustrating us at the moment. Playing deep, playing on the break. They've got seven men behind the ball at all points with Royce, Bellingham and Reyna offering outlets going forward with Modest making runs in behind the plane really well. Harlan's just come closest for us, hitting the base at a post, but probably should have squared it to Foden, but he's always going to have eyes for goal there. Nil one to Dortmund. I was going to say nil nil, but Dortmund has scored. And uh, yeah, disappointing so far, but hopefully the subs can start making an impact. Yes! Ball and Kevin nearly on it. Oh! To be honest, right, I criticise Hummels a hell of a lot. But his awareness is brilliant. He can't run, but he can tell you what, he can intercept. Well, you can tell Dortmund's tactics have now got five at the back. Guerrero, uh, Schlotterbeck's just come on at centre back with Hummels, and uh, Sule, and then Muniani, uh, Munier, Muniani right back. So Dortmund are happy with 1 0 or 1 0 to be fair, which is so annoying. I'd, I'd be gutted if we drop points. Oh my god, what a strike. Usually those go flying into Rose end. Not this time, flying into the top corner. One all, back in it. Oh. What a ball! Unbelievable, and that's what Ireland does in the right place at the right time. How's he got his leg up? He's like a ballet dancer. Unbelievable. Icelandic clap behind me as well. 2-1. Come on, finish it! No! Took too long. Still might be on. Surely. Oh. Too selfless, aren't we? Take a shot. Chance getting involved. So just wasting time. Yes! Massive win. Massive, massive win now. And there we go then, full time in the Etihad Stadium. Manchester City win by two goals to one. Well, that was intense and we didn't play well. Johnny Stone's hitting a cracker from the edge of the box to equalise after Jude Bellingham put Dorman ahead from a fierce Marco Roy shot. All it needed was a touch and it got it for Jude Bellingham to be there. And then guess who came up with a winning goal? Mr. Erling Haaland against his former club. I was hoping it happened and it did. And just like we beat them the last two times and twice in, in the club's history, we beat Dortmund by two goals to one. And finally got to see it live. Very, very happy about that. 
Woo, what a night, time for me to breathe and have a rest. My guy. My guy. Just keep scoring and he's just the best. So that is going to bring an end to today's adventure. If you have enjoyed the European night tonight, make sure to smash the like, hit that big red subscribe button down below. We are close to 10k. Oh, what a night. We played terrible, but I'll take it early darling with the winner, of course. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. I'll see you Saturday for Wolves Away.